My name is Kevin McAloy. I'm uh, Vice President of Global Marketing for 3D Systems, uh, based at our new facility in, in uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, 3D is a, a company based in the United States, but we have uh, offices and facilities around the world. Uh, selective laser centering, uh, like all of these processes, starts with three-dimensional CAD data. That 3D CAD data is sliced into thin layers, and that's the input to the selective laser centering machine. In selective laser centering, you have a, a container full of uh, powdered plastic, and then you have uh, a, um, a laser and scanning mirrors that allows you to uh, move the laser beam across the work surface where you have the, uh, where you have the powder. And um, to build a part, you feed the slice information to the scanning system, and it scans the laser, which is a CO2 laser, across the work surface, and it selectively fuses or melts the powder wherever you have part cross-section. Once you've uh, selectively fused all of the material in a particular cross-section, you then have uh, um, new powder which is uh, added to the work surface via a counter-rotating roller. So once I've finished one cross-section, I lower uh, the work platform by an amount equal to layer thickness, and I roll new powder across the work surface to create a new fresh powder layer, and then I scan that layer with my next uh, 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 data and selectively fuse wherever I have part cross-section, and I put in enough laser energy to adhere it to the layers beneath it, and I keep repeating that process until I've constructed my three-dimensional parts. We actually use the laser to raise the temperature of the powder from below its melting temperature to above its melting temperature, and strictly speaking, in sintering, you actually adhere, adhere materials together in the, in the solid state below their primary transition temperature. So with selective laser sintering, the defining advantage is that you can melt materials that are engineering plastics directly in the machine and uh, produce parts which are functionally equivalent to end-use parts in terms of their uh, overall properties, including uh, elongation of failure, toughness, and longevity, that is how they age over time. And so if I need a prototype that is going to be used and tested in a very functional way, let's say under stress at elevated temperatures, selective laser centering allows you to make highly functional parts that, that can withstand the rigors of, of true functional testing. For, for, for direct manufacturing today with selective laser centering, the, the primary materials being used are, uh, are, are Duraform materials. And the Duraform materials are, are polyamide-based systems, uh, both unfilled and, and glass-filled uh, materials. And those materials exhibit um, very desirable properties with respect to um, toughness uh, and aging. And they perform much like the uh, the uh, end-use materials in many cases. As a matter of fact, in, in the case of the aircraft duct application uh, I presented before, the materials, in fact, that were used in rotational molding and that are being used in selective laser centering are almost identical materials. So it's made it a very transparent transition for uh, manufacturers in that particular case. We. Um, uh, also have a newer material called Duraform EX, which is a next generation polyamide system, and it has enhanced toughness compared to the earlier generation Duraform systems, and in fact has elongation of failure and uh, unnotched and notched IZOD values, which are actually as good as or exceed molded parts made from polypropylene ABS engineering plastics. Here's a couple examples of parts that are made in our selective laser sintering process, an electrical connector made in 
two different colored dyed materials, uh, but this will be used directly in a, an electrical application. Another similar part is made of three different pieces. Again, it's sintered uh, polyamide powder, PA, and uh, produced to be used in electrical applications as well.